Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday night live. I know on Monday I did say I was going to go live at 10 o'clock. And then yesterday I went to the, or went to Menards, uh, which is like the lumber yard. And I ended up buying all of my wood for my barn quilts. And yesterday I was going to cut it all when I got home and, you know, life got in the way. So today I was outside cutting wood for barn quilts, um, painting and assembling. And at this point, I mean, I look a little ragged, but I'm like, okay, I am still going live and I scheduled it for tonight. So I ended up getting 40 barn quilts uh, cut, uh, painted, and put together. When I say painted, the bases are painted. There's no design on it. I'm not that awesome. <laughs> but um, And then I ended up having, I cut 12 more um, that are not assembled, so they're out there. So after this, I'm going to go back out, cut the rest of the wood. That way tomorrow I can get the remainder of those barn quilt bases painted. So, but tonight, um, if you guys watched Monday, um, actually last week and Monday, we upcycled a guitar that I had picked while I was out thrifting. And I used this amazing uh, transfer from IOD and I had a bit left. And if you guys watched my thrift haul video from when I was up north in Wisconsin, I did stop at one um, rummage and I found three really cool hand saws and I wanted to do something fun with them. I'd actually seen um, year, like for a while, I've seen this image out on Pinterest where they have all of the saws kind of like in a shape. Uh, um, it's like in a circle. So they're all kind of like going up and around. I'm like, I will need so many saws for that. So then I decided let's make these kind of fun where people can display them in their houses as home decor. So that's what we're doing tonight. So let's see who is all on now that I've rambled like crazy. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, hey, Alyssa. Uh, Robin's on. Stacy, Laura, or Lori, sorry. Um, somebody that's a Facebook user who says, hello, Sonnet. Uh, Robin, it came out beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Teresa said, finally catching live. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Mary Ellen from Massachusetts, Susan. Um, she says, hello, Sonnet and everyone. Um, Stephanie says, I have an old saw that was my dad's. Well, that is very cool. Uh, looks like Susan's, uh, tuning in from Michigan. Um, but yeah, so I figure we might as well get to it. Uh, because I actually, what I've been thinking, I think I'm going to take the guitar with me possibly to Cranberry Fest. I'm not sure. Otherwise I'll be putting it in my booth. Um, we, we do have this thing here local. Um, it is a big music festival in downtown Appleton. It is called Mile of Music. And I think this might be the ninth year or 10th year. It's been going on for a while and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And oh my gosh, they have the most amazing artists that come from everywhere. And they basically, the, um, the whole mile in downtown Appleton, you can find music um, in the little bars or like pubs, um, outside venues. Uh, so they're, it's, it's really cool. And every hour and a half or something, they like keep changing. So you can get your ticket. It's, it's actually free to, um, to go to mile of music, but you can purchase some more elaborate. I think there's a few that you can purchase, but, um, it is so cool because you just look at your who's playing and you can say, oh, I want to see this person or this person. And you can just hit up all those different venues. So I thought maybe I'll put it in my booth for mile of music. Um, it, you know, because so many people do come from all over to watch, uh, they do go shopping as well. So I thought that might be kind of fun as, you know, to have in there. So let's see here. Who else has joined us? Um, Patricia, Nancy. Oh, Nancy from Little Shoot. Awesome. Uh, a local gal. Uh, Melanie from Georgia. Deb, hello. 
And Virg uh, Virginia says, awesome. I bought some saws to put transfers on, but haven't done it yet. Yeah, so I, at first, you guys, when I was thinking about this project, I'm like, uh, maybe I should paint it, you know, paint the actual saw blade. And I, you know, guys, I love rusty. I love like crusty and chippy. And I think I'm going to embrace on this one, the rust, but the handle we're going to do something to, because I love the detail, but I feel like it is not showing all the details. So we're going to do something with the handle and leave the rusty alone and embrace that. Um, hey, Miles. Uh, he says, hello, Sana. Yes, I'm here. Not driving around this evening. All right. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Adorable repurposals. It says, hello from North Carolina. The carpenter's wife says, good evening from Tampa, Florida. Awesome. We have Meg, Janice, Penny. Wow. Our, tons of you guys. I love it. I love it. How many are on? There's a ton of you. Um, if you want to make a flower with hand saws, check out your local online auction. Sometimes they sell a bunch. Oh, that's a really good idea, Jamie. Thank you. All right. Oh, Fox City says, my love music. Yes, 10 year anniversary. Yes, yes, you guys. Um, you guys can come far and from everywhere to watch it. So yes. Uh, Deb says, I was looking for you this morning. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I thought about stopping and going, you know, and like, like this morning when I actually got up, I was like, I could stop and then come back and um, do a live and then go back out. But I thought once I get in my groove, you guys, I just go. So I decided not to do that. Um, all right, let's go ahead. And I'm going to, um, I did enough chatting now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at our project and what we're going to do. And um, definitely chime in um, as I'm going to turn the laptop so I can see comments as I am working on the project. And then definitely as we're creating, um, I want to hear ideas and suggestions from all of you too. All right, let's change the camera. Okay. So if you guys saw on the original image, um, oh, and I did injure myself today. First injury of um, getting ready for Cranberry Fest. I was screwing and the screwdriver hit my, my finger. It hurts. I actually teared up a bit. Um, so uh, let's see here. Sherry says, my rust ate my decoupage paper off. I should have sealed it a few times prior to, to stop it from going further. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Um, what I did though, if I'm going to show you, like, you can kind of see there was like this spot here and you can see it like right here. Um, it, it looks like, I think because it was probably stored in a garage, it got some kind of like oily substance on it. So last night, what I did when I decided I was going to do this project, I went outside, I used Dawn because Dawn is the best grease cutter, you guys. And I first just had a wet paper towel and I scrubbed it. Then I rinsed it off and it still kind of beaded a little bit. And then what I did is I just applied Dawn and really rubbed it in on both sides. And then um, I rinsed it off and I think it like discolored it but when I rinsed it it didn't beat off and it looks pretty good and I scrub it really good as well um but what I'm thinking for the handle because I am using the same transfer that I did on the guitar I think I'm going to use Americana on it on the handle let it dry and then kind of sand some of this back or even use like a wax in there to bring it back. What do you guys think? Let's see here. Sherry says the handle itself is so pretty. I know you guys, is it just beautiful? Oh gosh, I wonder what this says. Uh, column. I don't have my readers and it's really Colombian warranted. Okay. Interesting. It's very pretty. 
Um, Andrea, hello, hello. Shellac it, supposed to stop us from coming through other finishes, but I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna test this out and see. I think it's gonna be fine. I really scrubbed good, and when I'm touching it, it's not, it's not. I know, my hands look really rough. If you guys didn't know, I painted the barn quilts uh, charcoal. <laughs> So, uh, that would handle, that would unhandle no paint. Oh, Penny thinks I shouldn't paint it. Okay, well, we'll hold off on painting then, guys. We'll start with this part, and then we'll go to that part, because that was my vision. But, okay. All right. So, I have this one chunk left, along with some of these other little pieces that... I had cut off of another one. Um, this definitely caught my eye here. So I was thinking, even though, remember last night I started kind of cutting it all apart, it's still okay because I can still piece it together. Um, okay, so Sherry says, yeah, the rubbins are different from regular old paper, paper not absorbent. Yeah, they're like... I hate to call them stickers because they're not really stickers, but they kind of remind me of that. So I'm thinking I kind of want to somehow work this in. I'm trying to feel like how much I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this little chunk off because I want to place that differently. So I'm going to start there so that I can place it wherever I want when the time comes. Okay, gone. I'm kind of sad that I cut this last night. Oh, that's okay though, right? All right. Um, so I think think what I want to do, I'm going to actually cut around this. And I'm going to kind of fit because I want this rose on here with some of the leaves. And I want it kind of turned. I'm trying to feel over here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Hogwash Gem says, I am so excited to see what you do. I have so many of my dad's old hand saws. Aw. Uh, Tiffany says, hi to everyone from Minnesota. Thank you for joining. Maybe paint the blade and leave the handle natural. I kind of like the rustiness of the blade. I really do. Um, I can leave the, the handle natural too. So, uh, let's see here. Not everything needs to be painted. I was just trying to make it coordinate with the, um, here I'm trying to multitask guys. <laughs> uh, I was just saying, I was trying to make it, you know, kind of coordinate with the, the how am I said it, with the saw with the um, guitar, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be just perfect. All right, I'm going to just kind of rough cut this out and just like that. Take that off. All right, so now let's play around with this. Um, Anne says, did you see the Christmas trees made out of secondhand saws. I have not. I would love to see them, though. That sounds very interesting. All right. I'm just trying to see how much of this I can get on here. I think I'm going to cut this off right here because it's going to get cut off here. So I'm just going to chop it off. Yeah, there is some carving here on the handle, Stephanie. All right. All right, and then I could place this somewhere else as well. 
That's the nice thing about the IOD transfers is that you can just do whatever you want, move it around to your, however you want it. Oh, no, I don't like that. Um, Cause I want this piece going down. Um, I feel like it's upside down though, but I want the rose here, but that's okay, I guess. What do you guys think? Before I start, <laughs> Would the saw teeth face down? I think the saw teeth, yes. Oh, okay, so I have two things. Somebody can hang it like, I thought like this, or I was thinking even like hang it from the wall like that. So because of that, I wonder if I should chop this out and then take this and kind of work my way down, face down, yeah. With all that rusty stuff we play with, I wonder how many of us are up on our tetanus shot. Well, I am, you guys, just so you know. <laughs> I am definitely up on my tetanus shot. Um, that's funny. That's a good question. I'm just seeing here. So maybe if I cut... See, did you guys see... How, how do you think I should do it? Now I'm... Oh, okay, I'm getting undecided. I just like the look of how the rose fits here, but I wish that it would be flipped. Yeah, I think I'm going to just do it like this. Good point. Okay. I'm, I'm this is what I'm going to do, guys. Write down the saw. So I'm going to kind of, I have kind of a mark here. All right, and I'm going to kind of cut top the rose, top of the rose against the handle. Yeah, I was going to try to get it all the way up like this, but then it, that rose comes back. So then I did put the, um, oh, you think I should have the rose up here, like flipped? Just go for it. Okay, Free Spirit says just go for it. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it. Um, there is a little mark that I have here and I'm going to kind of just tie it up and I'm going to, I'm just going for it guys. And we can use that in a minute. So this is what I am doing so far. Flips. All right. Oh, my hands are filthy. All right, perfect. It all fit back together. go like that. Put some of the leaves on the top of the saw before putting down the flower. Okay. Well, guys, <laughs> I put it down already. <laughs> I am going to add more pieces. Okay, guys, I'm going to add more pieces. So let's see. And believe me, I have three more saws too. So we can always do something different to those. We don't like it. Right. Well, that that's a good sign that the this came off. You know that it went it means I at least cleaned it really well, and there's nothing horribly sticky or anything like that. <gasps> I'm gonna have to do something there. I didn't realize this was up, and I scratched it. That's okay. I can fix it. I can fix anything. Okay. I'm gonna, 
Yes, it will. Okay. Um, yep, I was just seeing if anybody else wrote anything. Hopefully you guys aren't too disappointed how I placed this. I think it's going to look good. The only thing I'm kind of sad about is that I, this little piece of paper lifted and I scratched it, but that's okay. We can fix it. I can fix it and make it hopefully not, not even noticeable. It already looks great. Well, thanks guys. Okay. Um, if I can add anything. I'm kind of sad about that, to be honest, but it's fine. It is fine, fine, fine. All right. Okay, so this is how far we've gotten, and I am loving it too. I think it looks really great. And I think now I wanted to add this somewhere. Let me cut it down. Meg says that she loves it. I didn't paint the blade. It's got a, a rustic vibe. No pun intended. Awesome. I love it. I think it's turning out great. Let's take a peek here. I want to place this somewhere yet. really sure where though I feel like I really like this I think I'm gonna add a little see I let me look here I was gonna see if there's any writing because there's like all this writing and I thought that would look kind of cool but I because I didn't paint it I wonder if you're going to be able to see it if I would put it down. No, you will not. Oh, good. Anne said that she posted um, pictures of the Saw Christmas trees to the group. Awesome. Yeah, I would love to see them. Okay. Um, the metal piece above the handle. The metal piece above the this metal piece? <laughs> I don't know. Or this metal piece. Um, let's see. I think I want to add some stuff in here. Kind of like tie this together a little bit more. And then I want to do something just a little bit more here. So let's see what we have to play around with here. I wish that I could somehow, oh, that would look kind of fun in there. Kind of fits perfect. Okay. Let's see here if I can. Well, I thought I had it pretty close, but I guess I cut a little chunk off there. That looks pretty good. So I think that I'm going to do is kind of nestle that in there. I'm going to cut this off. And kind of put this like, like that. I kind of like that. It covers up a little bit of the green, but that's okay. Let's see here. The blank part near near my blue scissors. Okay, let's see here. Did I, I'm, I'm missing something. <laughs> uh, 
of the saw. The transfer that looks great, it's brighter than I thought it would be against the rust color. That's the only reason I suggest a painting the blade. I should have known better by now to trust your ideas. Oh, thanks, Susan. From your view, it's below the handle. From your view, it's below the handle. The blank part near your, this part right here, you're talking. Okay, guys. I should put something here. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I'm sorry. I love this. This is a brilliant idea. Oh, well, thank you, Melissa. Uh, my husband wants you. you moved your blue scissors. I did. Okay. I'll move them back. <laughs> this bling part right here, I think. Uh, for the spring. Okay. For the spring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you guys think I should put it here somehow. So what do you think if I put this little clump? I will cover this up a little bit though. Um, if I like tuck this in here, I could even tuck a little bit more of the pink here and then put the sprig. Maybe tuck that in there. I'm just trying to add, I'm just trying to fill this up a little bit. Tuck that in and then I could put the sprig. Or maybe, I don't know. Oh, I could go like that. Okay, I like that. Yes, yes, okay. Oh, Paige, that's okay. She goes, oh, I'm so late. Hi, Saturday, I finally caught a live. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead. All right. I think I'm gonna go like that, right off, right to the edge. What do you guys think about this stuff? I do kind of like it in here. I think it, it's a little jazzy. But I like it. I kind of like that little yellow. So I think if I would just do this, it would seem too plain. So I think I am going to add that in there right there. Okay, so let okay, I'm speak now or forever hold your peace because I'm laying it down. Oh, you guys, it's going. All right, it's down. All right, let's see here. Okay, I like it. I actually like that. And then I think I'm going to do, where's my other little piece? I think I'm just going to put a little, this little chunk, like right there to cover up that little spot. And just like that. Okay. So that looks good. I like that. Oh yeah, that looks good and it kind of like looks like it blends. Then we're going to put this piece like right here and I think that will be perfect. Can you guys all see? I just all of a sudden I'm like, I hope everybody can see. Well, actually, Paige, I thought about painting. I was going to paint the handle, but I also like to listen to you guys and your ideas and suggestions and what you guys think. Be very careful when you burnish it near the, the edge. I almost injured my, <laughs> my good finger. Oh my gosh. Yes. I, well, I don't want, I, you do need to buy the transfer. Like I am seriously obsessed with it. I want to use it again on something else because it's so beautiful. Okay. 
All right, so I'm still not liking that little tiny bit. I'm going to have to figure out something to put there, you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just put this little sprig and pray that it works. All right, there's this tiny little sprig. I'm going to try to cover that little blemish up. You know, I didn't think about that, Elissa. She, she says, are you going to do anything to keep the teeth of the saw from cutting anyone? Um, I had not thought that far ahead. But since I almost got cut, it might be a good idea to... Or put down, or like say something like, dangerous. Okay, well, I like that. I think that looks good. I love it, actually. I, do you guys, I don't know if it needs anything down here. I'm trying to see what else I have left don't have a whole lot. I almost, I feel like I kind of really like it. Oh, Felicis you know, says that's my dilemma with saws. I know people are kind of silly is a good way. And me being nice. Um, People are silly. And then I could see somebody going, oh, is this sharp? Yeah, it's sharp, people. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Um, okay, that's a great idea, Tony. She said, um, put linseed oil on the handle. And I do have linseed oil, so I will do that. Uh, Paige says, it's beautiful just the way it is. You did awesome. Thank you, thank you. Let's see here. I just got that transfer. The colors are beautiful. They are. I just love them. Okay, so this transfer is not seasonal. This one is going to be available for a while. It's brand new. Um, it's just from the last release, so you guys will have plenty of time to purchase it. So, um, yes, do not worry. The only um, one that is seasonal is the holiday release, which um, will, because somebody already spilled the beans, will be coming out, you know, sometime in the probably future. So... Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Uh, this saw is pretty, but when its teeth are, but its teeth are sharp. Yeah, Patty, the teeth are a little sharp. Can I share on Amazon link in your comments for a transfer with similar colors, or is that not allowed since you sell IOD? That might not be allowed. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, you could possibly do it on my, um, page, like on my Facebook, um, if you're part of the group page, you could share on there. Um, let's see here. Is that the Alyssa? Yes, it is. Um, I plan to put the whole thing on the front of a dresser. Awesome. Yes, I think this would be beautiful on the front of a dresser. And actually, okay, so can you hear all? This was all three of these projects were done by Jamie Ray Vintage. And this is on the front of the dresser, uh, a dresser. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, hold off on oil until you're a hundred. <laughs> oh, Jan says, I learned so much from you, Sonnet. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Uh, Hold off on the oil. Oh, until you're a hundred percent sure you're not you're not going to paint it. Yeah, that's a good point. So the reason I thought about painting it is because now where's my little stick, guys? I am feeling a little unorganized this evening because, like I said, I just can't remember it. Because I 
oh, I just love this blue with this. And I just think, I just want to paint it. Because I think it looks, will be so cool. So, all right. Are we, um, do you guys think we are set on the colors? The handle would be beautiful in a cow, oh, in cowgirl coral. Yes, that would be beautiful. Then I could distress this back and make it look all fun. It would bring out the coral in here. I'm getting don't paint it. Yeah, I I just think it's this, all this metal, I think is so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna seal this. So I'm using big top here. Let's see. I had this. Oh, I'm like, what did I have this? And anytime. And I think it will just seal it all together. It's going to make it look all pretty. Oh, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it, you guys. It turned out so good. Thanks for your assistance, you guys. I love doing lives with you guys. Um, so what I've been thinking is since I am getting ready for Cranberry Fest and I have, I always do a bunch of projects on my, you know, weekly YouTube videos. I'm thinking maybe what I should do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, for me. Okay. This is, I have to share this show this. Paint it off camera, then tell us sorry, not sorry. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you could heavily distress it though if you paint it. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, I don't know. I'm kind of, when I said I was going to paint the, the handle, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Actually, uh, two out of the three that I had found or I did get, um, this one and the other, the other one, I will not paint the handle. It's so beautiful. Uh, let me see, do I have, oh no, I brought it outside. <coughs> the other one, um, it's got, it's more of like a square, the, this part, the metal part is like square. And I thought about doing that one, but then, um, Instead, I just fell in love with this and I thought this would look so pretty with it. So this is I, the finished project. So I think I think it turned out really awesome. Here, oh, I'm going, was going to go the wrong way. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'll paint the handle, you guys. Don't worry. So I sealed this side and I want the back side to look the same. Like, uh, it's kind of like a satin finish in a way. So what I'll do is I, once this dries, I'll flip it over and then I'll do the same thing on the back. Uh, Paige says, I like it either way. You did amazing. Thank you. Okay. So that is that. And um, so just to recap, we used the Elysium on it and then we didn't even use the the paint so that's good all right so let's chat now a little bit about um about cranberry fest so my thought is because i have so much to get ready for it i'm thinking that each night I just grab a project and we go to town and you guys can help work with me and uh work on a project each night. Well, not every night, Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. Um, Andrea says, yeah, I would not paint the handle. This is absolutely beautiful, son. And thank you. Uh, Gert says it looks amazing. <clears throat> Very pretty, unique piece. Can we see you while you chat? Yes, I am going to, I don't look um, the best. <laughs> But yes, let's chat. Um, 
Yes. Uh, so what I was thinking is um, I have just a ton of things that I want to create and flip. And uh, so I thought, you know what, each day or like on Monday, we'll start a project. And if it goes into Wednesday, then it goes into Wednesday. And I just think it would be awesome. And you guys can like all tell yourselves that you guys helped me prepare for Cranberry Fest. <laughs> so um, I do have some uh, different luggage pieces. So I thought about those. I'm just going to keep grabbing stuff. I was in the garage today and I was like, oh boy, there's a lot to do. So, and we might even do fall stuff, holiday stuff as we go and we'll just take it from there. Um, Gert says, you look fabulous. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, if you could see my shirt, I, at first I was actually going to change because I am like head to toe sawdust, you guys, because I'm in like sawing and um, cutting and doing all kinds of stuff. But uh, Susan says, where and when is Cranberry Fest? So Cranberry Fest is in Eagle River, Wisconsin, and it is uh, like it must be October, maybe 7th and 8th, I think. It's, so it's not, I think the first falls maybe on a Sunday. And so then it would be the 7th and 8th. That's that weekend, the first full weekend. Um, let's see here. I just want to read the comments. Oh gosh. Elissa says, do we get a cut of the profits? <laughs> no. Uh, but you can feel like you were part of it. Oh, Paige says, I know the struggle. Can't even hardly get into my craft room. I know. Um, I have a lot going on. And I have been, since last weekend, I've been brainstorming. And then I, yeah, there's so many parts to every project, you guys. So, so many moving pieces. And to like, I have things that I'm buying and then I start like I'm cut doing the barn quilts and now in my living room my husband walked in and he goes <laughs> there's 40 barn quilts they're stacked like super high because then at night after I get them all built when I spend quality time with my husband while we watch TV I grab a barn quilt and then I draw it out and then I just take one and I watch TV and draw them out and then um, I'm still spending quality time and I'm multitasking. So one thing you guys have to know about me, I can't sit still. <laughs> I'm always doing something. So the only time I really relax and rest is when I'm up north. And even then I'm always brainstorming. So um, thanks for joining us, Andrea. She says, gotta run. Um, and have a great weekend and we'll see you Monday. Yes, we'll see you, Andrea. No worries. I've been painting furniture all day. I'm a mess too. <laughs> okay. Paige says, my kiddo's birthday is October 6th. Oh, awesome. Um, oh, Simply Blessed Crafts says, same, Paige, same. Um, it's a di disaster area, uh, LOL. Uh, Paige says, I don't know how you do it. I craft for therapy rather than for profit, so don't, so don't plan. I just do and hope it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually have a video out there. Um, it's like a little tiny mini barn quilt that I created. And I believe it was during like the 12, the 25 days of thriftmas. Um, and that's on YouTube that I have that. So of the barn quilts. Um, uh, Cindy says she missed my project. And I'll just quick do it like this. I don't know how to make it big. Let me just, let me just hit it. All right. This is the project. We did a saw. We took an old vintage saw and then we took the alyssum, the rest of the transfer that I had left over and we did that. All right. Let me go back to me. All right. Oh, Paige says she needs to know how to do the barn quilts in detail. It's, it's pretty elaborate. So so far, what I did is I went to the lumber yard yesterday and I bought 60 boards, um, one by sixes, and then I bought 20 one by fours because I used the one by fours to hold all the um, boards together. And then today I started cutting them and it was cutting um, all the boards, 
uh, and then painting all the boards and then at, uh, paint the fronts and the backs. Then I assembled them. So I ended up getting 40 uh, fully built barn quilts today. So <laughs> that's as far as I got from there. Then I take um, my a ruler and I just hand draw the whole design. Oh my God, you guys. I just dropped water. I spilled water all over my computer, on my laptop. And I don't know what I did here. I, oh my gosh, I somehow <laughs> made my screen super big. So I can't even see. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't hurt my computer. I can't see any comments. Here, let me see if I can shrink it. Oh, there. Okay. My computer, my screen is touchable or whatever that's called. Oh dear God. But I think, I hope I didn't get water in here. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Um, I can't even move anything. Oh Lord. Do you have just a few designs for the squares? Um, no, I actually do a bunch of different ones. And this year I am adding more um, designs to my, yeah, I'm, oh my gosh, I can't get this to go back down. That's okay. That is okay. So I am um, adding more designs to, um, <laughs> to the barn quilts. I should never have open water. Put a cap on spills, guys. Get off and try it out. It's fine. I think it's fine. It just, um, it just did it a little bit. All right. So, all right. Let's see here. Um, if you're go bye bye, we'll know why. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, my heat gun, you guys. That's right, I should grab my heat gun. Great idea. Someone's like, grab your heat gun. Paige said that. Yes, I will grab my heat gun and dry it out a bit. All right. Okay, so Stephanie said she did watch my barn quilt tutorial last year. Yeah, it was um, during the 25 days of thriftmas. So that's out there. All right, I think my computer is actually acting up, you guys, because now I can't, it totally went, the comments are gone. All right, well, hopefully I didn't really mess this up, but I am going to let you guys go for the evening. I'm signing off just a little early. I will go back on my phone and look at any of the comments, um, but we will see you guys on Monday for the live, and then um, Friday I will be putting out a video, and tomorrow, as long as my computer's okay, you guys, <laughs> I'm going to jump on and do a quick live um, because Royce's papers are being released tomorrow, so I'm going to show you guys that. So you have a wonderful evening, and then we will see you guys uh Real quick tomorrow, it's not going to be a long live. I'm just going to show you the papers and we'll go from there. All right, talk to you later and have a great night. Bye. I wonder what, oh my gosh, I can't even sign off.